Sometimes I like painting on the street more than I like painting indoors, which is crazy. Yeah. But you make more money, you make more money painting indoors <laughs> because you get to keep all your pieces. Outside, you know, that stuff doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the world. Just everything that's happening in the world, I'm just trying to find out like, what could I do that could help, you know, help people move, move an entire group of people along. How could I actually like use my platform to lead, you know? So I haven't really figured out what that is, but I feel like my goal in life probably is to, is to move people in a certain way. I just don't know. I just know I'm here for like a bigger purpose. And I guess right now I'm just taking that time to to find out what that, that bigger purpose is. I was making clothes. I think that's kind of like what it was. I was making clothes and I was like, this shit ain't serving me like I wanted it to. I probably ended up getting back into it. It was just like, I didn't feel like the whole cool kids club. I just wanted to paint. I just wanted to make shit and like, you know, that's just like what I, all what I wanted to do. I just wanted to paint. <laughs> I moved to LA. And then like, I gave Rihanna a jacket. And after that, it shit just went crazy at the Rihanna wore it. At the Rihanna wore it, everything just went up from there. And we started like selling shit more and everything, but it was just like, it was just a crazy demand for it, you know? Damn, that's a good question. I don't, I don't really know, man. I just wanted to, I wanted to do something in the street that was recognizable, but I didn't want to write my name because I knew no one was going to be paying attention to that. But I knew people were going to be paying attention to, they would pay attention to like a, a recognizable image that mimicked a human. And it, of course, a skeleton is going to mimic a human. So I think it just kind of stood out. Like when, where do you ever see like pink skeletons, you know? Growing up, my mom was a model, so I was just around that shit. So I was like, you know, I was seeing Vogue magazines and, and Elle and Vanity Fair. The editor, that was like my first, I guess, exposure to editorials. And I just saw these like fashion editorials and I always just was, was taken back by them. Like, oh, they were amazing. It was an era in the 90s where they just used a lot of like just tall, statuesque black models. A lot of them were African, just these deep, you know, African features and like uh, that shit was amazing because I never really saw that on print so like, I would just see a lot of that growing up and like that was like inside the house you know and then like outside was just still it was the hood it was still Philly yeah all embroidery I just trying to figure out when that's all in the meantime, I just, you know, had the money, so I started investing it back into myself. So I'm like, yo, I need to make some products, make some, make some cool shit. I was uh, doing this like neighborhood, like philanthropic program called Neighborhood Bike Works, and we were like, we were really into bikes, and we would, we would like wheelie bikes in Philly learned bike safety, learned everything about fixing bikes, taking them apart, and then they would bring in younger kids and we would like chaperone them and, and do like bike rides and like, you know, just be big brothers to the kids. The guy, um, Andrew Dyson, who ran Neighborhood Bike Works, he saw like my artwork, he saw like how talented I was at a young age, and he uh, told me he heard about this school called Charter High School for Architecture and Design, and that was like, this, this new creative high school that focused on, you know, all forms of the arts. Just, you know, it was, it was cool for me because I was able to be in the space that I wanted to do, like I always wanted to do art since a kid. But if it wasn't that, I probably would be playing football because I always wanted to um, play football like professionally. Art was like my passion, so I just went with art.